channel my name is wolo i want to say a very big thank you to everyone who have subscribed to my channel um the channel just grew so fast on me and i really appreciate everyone who have subscribed the channel is about sharing information on life in canada immigrating to canada and anything useful and beneficial about canada and i hope to keep uploading useful content useful information for everybody who sees my videos today i'll be sharing information about resume writing the canadian standard and um, because it is critical to job search in canada resume writing is very important because it's a tool that you will use to sell yourself to a potential employer and it's very important that you pay critical attention to your resume now canada calls it resume while some other countries call it cv a curriculum vitae is used by um, professionals such as university lecturers professors um, science researchers medical doctors um, these are the group of people that use curriculum vitae because of the length of a curriculum vitae um, a curriculum vitae can have as much as three to ten page documents which document their work experience, the researches they've done, their publications, their speaking engagements. Uh, that's why it's as long as 10 pages. But for a resume, it's usually two page, a two page document that summarizes your skills, your experiences, your accomplishments in all the places you have worked in. There are four types of resumes. The first is the chronological resume. The second is the functional resume the third is the combination resume which is which combines both the chronological and the functional resume and the fourth resume is the infographic resume basically used by um, artists graphic artists to display their works and i will be focusing on the chronological resume the chronological resume has five components or five requirements and the five components are the contact information the summary of your skills, your work experience, your volunteer information, and your educational qualification. And the first requirement is the contact information, which displays your name, your home address, your email address, your contact number or your telephone number, and a Skype ID. For people applying outside of Canada or people applying for jobs outside of Canada, you can actually um, remove your home address and just leave your email address, your phone number, and a Skype ID for a video interview. Another thing I will suggest is you can also get an international phone number that you can include on your contact information. It is necessary for people who are outside of Canada to have an international phone number. And there are different apps that give international phone numbers. And if you have an international phone number, you can indicate it on the contact information of your resume. The second component of the chronological resume describes the summary of your skills, your accomplishments, your achievements, and your technical knowledge. So if you claim to have a technical knowledge in different software applications like SAP or HRIS or PeopleSoft, you have to indicate it in the summary that you have these skills. The third component of the chronological resume is where you give details of your work experience. And this is where you indicate the names of the companies that you have worked in, the duration of your work experience, and also your job duties. But when you are indicating your job duties, it is important to uh, put them in a form that highlights your accomplishments. So you don't just put in your job duties. When describing your work experience, it is important to use resume buzzwords. And there are different types of resume buzzwords like analyzed, collaborated, conducted, developed, you know, there are several resume buzzwords that you can use to explain your job description. And it also highlights your accomplishments and what you have done. The fourth component of the chronological resume highlights your volunteer information. So if you're in Canada, volunteering in Canada is a very important thing that you can also use to include in your resume because some companies or some organizations are very keen on people who volunteer their services for free. So if you have any volunteering experience, you can also indicate that in your resume. The fifth component of a chronological resume should indicate your educational qualifications, your professional qualifications, 
and any trainings you have attended. And this is because there are some job adverts that will specifically request for certain professional qualifications or educational qualifications. And if a recruiter or an employer is looking at your resume, they will want to see these things. There are some jobs that do not require you putting your educational qualifications, but there are some jobs that require that you put your educational qualifications and your professional qualifications. So this is what they use to sieve out people they want to call for interview or to invite for the next phase of the job um, recruitment process. It is important to note that the average recruiter or employer spends just 31 seconds looking at your resume. So within that 31 seconds, they are looking for a match between your resume and the job advert. So if they don't find any match, they just quickly toss your resume out and move on to the next resume. This is because they receive so many resumes and they don't want to spend so much time looking out for the match between your resume and the job application. So it is, it is very important that the resume you have should be customized in such a way that it reflects exactly the same thing as the job advert. I am not advocating for you to do a copy and paste. A copy and paste is not a good idea. It's very important that you use keywords and buzzwords that are found in the job adverts on your resume. So you should have a general resume that has every of your information, including the buzzwords, your skills. And I know there are so many people who must have had different kinds of experiences and different kinds of jobs that are not related. I'll give an example. Let's say you have an experience in customer service. You have an experience in administration. You have an experience in human resources. You have an experience in logistics. You have experience in transportation. Just you having experiences, experiences in five different fields. It's important to have a bank, a resume bank, where you have all this information on one document. So when you're looking for a job, let's say you're looking for a job in customer service, you can go and extract the information that is related only to customer service and create a customized resume or a targeted resume for customer service and apply for the job. Or if having a general resume is very difficult, you can actually create several resumes specific to different um, occupations. So if you're looking for a job in customer service, you can have a resume for customer service. If you're looking for a job in human resources, you can have a resume for human resources. If you're looking for a job in administration, you can have a resume for administration. It is very important that for every job application, before you send in your resume, you must customize or target your resume to the job description mentioned on the job advert before you send in your resume. Like I mentioned earlier, employers and recruiters spend just 31 seconds looking at your resume. So, so it is very important that your resume will sell you to the recruiter and whoever picks up your resume to look at it. Another thing that you should note is that there are certain informations that should not be included in your resume. And these informations are your age, your gender, your religion, your tribe, these informations are not necessary and should not be included in your resume. So if you have them in your resume, please take them out. When you're applying for a job in Canada, it's very important to follow the component and follow the Canadian standard. I will be leaving a summary of resume buzzwords and um, in my subsequent video or in another video, because I intend to do another video about resume writing, I will be leaving samples of different styles of resume. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.